going on guys <clears throat> taking a little walk on my property here through the, through the forest and I was thinking about as I walked down this beautiful path I don't know if you can see it but I was thinking about um, the three essentials to a spiritual journey the three things that I find to be basic and ultra important to exploration and discovery and awareness, awakening to your true self. So here we go. The three essentials are these, Zazen or sitting meditation, silence, mantras. Now, let me explain. Sitting meditation, it's observing thoughts the way you would observe the clouds. We're not identifying in the cloud. We're simply observing it, enjoying it, seeing it. It's not harming us, not hurting us. You see, thoughts only have power over you in your agreement. What most of the time we do though, is we've literally become so attached to the, the mind. The mind has become what we believe that we are in this body. And there's such an attachment to these two things that every thought that trickles through your mind, we just go with, we agree with, and it creates an immediate emotional or physiological response. So sitting meditation helps us move beyond things like anxiety, stress, fear, OCD, it helps us move beyond these things and it really helps us to begin to experience a continual perpetual peace. I'm not gonna go through all of what sitting meditation entails, but I would strongly encourage you to find a teacher, a guru, somebody that can really walk with you through sitting meditation. It might seem very basic. We're just sitting in an upright posture, breathing in through our lungs, paying attention to the breath and observing thought. When a thought comes, we observe it, we let it pass, we turn to the breath. And while this seems very basic, I'm telling you that you can take this super deep. It's a great place to start on your spiritual journey. Part number two would be, I would say, um, silence. Find a, a silent retreat. I do at least two silent retreats every year. I'm hoping to this next year do a silent retreat here on my property. And um, find a place where you can uh, there's lots of seven days, what they call seven day sits, 10 day sits, longer sits even. But a silent retreat, I like to start with, if you've never done a silent retreat, a three day silent retreat. And these silent retreats is just, it's three days of silence. And the only time you really get to talk is when you get to sit <coughs> during a set song with a teacher. Um, not all silent retreats do this, but I like to do this once a day, we sit with as, at a set song with a teacher and uh, you get to ask questions that have risen in your spirit. It's the only time you get to open your mouth. The rest of the time you're sitting in silence, you're sitting in meditation. And this is a great practice. Matter of fact, most of the time, you need to go through many silent retreats before you can even begin to understand what stillness is. Because silence and stillness are two very different things. Silence and noise are just two sides of the same coin. They're perception. But stillness is beyond perception. Stillness is a spiritual reality that you must awaken to. You must begin to recognize the silence, the other side of that coin, before you ever enter into stillness though. And then it doesn't matter how noisy things are, you will be at rest and at peace. Part number three would be a mantra. Mantra is something that you will, uh, an affirmative statement that you will say over yourself, like, and it normally begins with I am. And it's something that you will say in Eastern cultures, they use beads from mantra beads, prayer beads. And they use those and they say this mantra with a breath and then go to the next bead and say the mantra. And this is important, I find, to do throughout your day. And then affirmations, uh, so these statements right before you go to sleep and upon waking up in the morning, I find them very important to do for the reprogramming of the subconscious mind. So I just want you to consider these three things. Find some mantras that you like, something that is really, I am at peace. 
I am at peace. Rest is all around me. Find these mantras that really still your mind. And I find this to be important on a very basic, fundamental, even a philosoph uh, uh, even a physiological level, a physical level, because the mind is so often so in this dual world and so distracted. And so these mantras really open your mind up to a new way of doing things, both consciously and subconsciously. And those are the three things that I find to be really kind of foundational beginning elements of a spiritual journey. So if you're just launching out into your spiritual journey, or maybe you haven't been on a spiritual journey, maybe you've been on a religious journey, you've been a part of a Christianity, or you've been a part of a religion that has you doing a bunch of things to accomplish this, or doing a bunch of things to get from one point to another. When I talk about a spiritual journey, I'm not talking about you having to do something, I'm talking about it more as a dance. We dance to dance. So every step that we take on a spiritual journey is for the purpose of taking that step. We step to step. We breathe to breathe. We're not going somewhere, but I find these things to be fundamentally important to help bring the mind to a place of stillness so that we can step deeper into awareness. You must move beyond perception into intuition and then beyond intuition into stillness. So whether you're moving from religion into spirituality or whether you're just beginning a spiritual journey, you're finding a real desire in your heart for peace or for joy or for true a true longing for something deeper than what you've already discovered about yourself. And I think this will help you a lot. And uh, so practicing those three things. If you have questions about these things, drop them in the comments below. I'd be happy to field those questions and just chat with you. Uh, I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. I know I am. <laughs> Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.